The job of the media is to hold a mirror up to society in order to educate and inform with the end goal of enhancing public awareness of both positive and negative of what's happening in our world. That is why we invited four Houston journalists that are in tune with our African-American community for a Black History Month roundtable discussion. In this clip, they share the issues and challenges they see that still need to be addressed according to the people they serve. You guys get beats. You guys get areas that you cover. So as you go out and you uh, work with your, your contacts, you, you meet with people, you interview people, what are the key issues they say still need to be addressed in our society? I think one of the biggest things that I've been hearing of late, and I touched on it uh, about a year or so ago, is I, people are talking about gentrification. It's kind of a buzzword, but it's deeper than that. Mm -hmm. It's uh, people losing their homes or being priced out of their homes due to high property values uh, and uh, ta high tax uh, burdens that many of these individuals have and then Big Mama or Papa uh, did not have taxes paid because of deferments and homestead exemptions they pass away it passes on to their children or the next of kin and then they don't know what to do with it because you work so hard to build something for your family right and then it's taken away mm -hmm. uh, okay uh, did you want to say? Yeah, I do. I would like to say about the education system. Mm -hmm. I think that is so important, especially now. We know that um, coming out of the pandemic, children are behind. We know that the reading scores are not where they should be. We know that the math scores are not the, where they should be. We also know what's happening, again, with our public school system in which there are things that seem to be very um, targeted toward um, uh, schools of color, with children of color that are different than maybe a school in a more affluent white neighborhood. Uh, my, I had children, um, my, both my kids were in a more affluent uh, public school at first. And I noticed the disparity when we moved to our neighborhood school, um, what, what, the, what that school had and what our school has now. And it's just, when you see that disparity, you realize that we are really behind the eight ball in, time, in terms of educating our kids. We don't have the resources. Um, and, and something, and those stories need to be told um, because it, these are, you know, this is our next generation. I'd like, like to add to that as well. Um, civic engagement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the uh, election that is coming up this year yeah. is, 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 is critical to the type of country we're going to have for the next generation. Uh, and so when you look at uh, voting numbers, uh, one of the things that keeps coming up is that word voter apathy. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I, but, but honestly, I think it's connected a lot to what Jeff is talking about, too. The, you know, understanding the correlation between people who are being displaced, people who are being marginalized, and then understanding why that might drive voter apathy. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, one of the most important things facing our community, that and also leadership. Um, there is a changing of the guard politically happening uh, in black communities. Uh, this shift is happening. And so the importance to have leaders who, uh, one, have earned that place, but then number two, can be trusted. Uh, your non-vote is a vote mm -hmm. because whoever is elected to office is still going to represent yeah. you. They're still going to make decisions that impact you on a daily basis, especially on a local level. Most uh, everything that impacts us is local. Mm -hmm. So our city council members, our school boards, etc., uh, are those things that impact us rel relative to taxes, safety, and all these other important things. And so for me, I just share with people. I listen, mm -hmm. but I also share with people that I need to hear your voice. I need you to speak. I need you to be. Engage, but if you're not engaged, what's that saying? If you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Mm -hmm. And right. so I try to share with them look, if you're not engaged, if you're not involved, if you're not communicative, I don't know. You can't hold me accountable for something I don't know that I needed to be held accountable for. Yeah. So if you don't express to me, we need this, we want this, etc., then I'm tasked with coming up with the things that I think you need, I think you want, based off of what I see. We're kind of giving away our agency, aren't we? Absolutely. Coming up tomorrow, we take this topic further and dive into what headlines need to make their way out of local black newspapers and into mainstream media. Plus, we say goodbye. Heartfelt insight into the stories we, as the media, should be telling.